Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a few things that I got and I'll start with some tubes of watercolor. Now most of these I have half pans of. I started from half pans and I'm kind of uh, running low and I also want to um, make my own uh, travel palette for uh, painting on the go. I'm being very optimistic about my opportunities <laughs> in doing that with, uh, you know, when traveling with two kids, but we'll see. So I'll show you the colors that I picked out and I'll show you the swatches and also uh, similar uh, stuff from my uh, stash, my collection. Um, if, you know, if um, you have those, then they're very similar. Maybe it will save you buying a new color or you know, some fit, like brands are more available in uh, some places. Anyway, so I'll start with um, the Schmincke Naples Yellow. And this is, I think, a color that you find in every brand. And the Schmincke one has, um, it's a mixture of three pigments, including white. And I keep talking all the time about how I love uh, transparent watercolors, but sometimes I really like that contrast of having this really kind of milky, creamy um, paint with those bright, transparent colors. And the Schmincke Naples Yellow is one of my favorites. Now, I am completely in love with the Schmincke pans. Um, so I, till now, I think I had almost only the, their pans, but I do want my travel palette to have, I'm thinking about whole pans. So I got the tube um, of this and yeah, and I'll show you a few similar options. I'll just zoom in a bit more. Um, so this one is the Schmink and I think it's my favorite, even though it's a, a mixture of three pigments, including white. Um, Sennelier has a beautiful uh, single pigment color called Naples Yellow Deep that is also, uh, it doesn't look as lovely and creamy in the pan as the Schmincke does. Um, oh, let's see, you can see. It's, the camera will focus. See, it's very, very light color. So probably heavy on the white. And yeah, but um, you can see that on paper they're quite similar. I think, you know, probably I would also have a hard time um, telling the difference. Uh, this is the White Knight's Yellow Ochre. But it seems uh, pretty similar to me. It's a little bit more intense and it doesn't have that... Um, lovely creaminess that the Schmincke one has but I thought I would include it first of all because it's very similar and uh, second because it comes in the 36 pan set that I always recommend so um, as, that I always recommend as kind of a one go-to set um, the core Naples yellow is also a mixture of three pigments and also has white in it and black and um, I don't like it as much as I like the, it's kind of more in your face, um, unattractive yellow to me. Um, you know, it always depends also on the amount of water and everything, but I really love the, the Schmincke is really my favorite. And another um, interesting option that is quite popular is the Daniel Smith uh, Buff Titanium. And it's, just a really lovely kind of dirty <laughs> color and it granulates so just it's quite different obviously you know it doesn't have that so yeah that's that the next one is the Schmincke Brilliant uh, Blue Violet which is a color I think it's one of the first ones that I bought and I love it. It's really, really beautiful. It doesn't have, I think it's a fugitive color. It doesn't have um, a light fast rating. And it's made for, with, it's made with the pigment PV3. And 
and I just love it. Now it's quite similar to, I think from my colors, the it's it's quite similar to the Daniel Smith Cobalt Blue Violet, which I love. It's a beautiful color. It's a mixture of actually of two pigments, and I think I can't remember, but I think this one has a good uh, light fastness rating. Um, but this one is just a touch more purple and brilliant and I really love them both but in my palette I think I will use this one and yeah the Mission Gold Bright Clear Violet is yeah it's I don't know it's more of a dead <laughs> purple to me compared to this one I know the camera really doesn't pick up those subtle differences but I really really love the this uh, Schmincke color and in reality it's it's more purple than it shows on camera so that's this one put them here um, the next one is definitely one of my all-time favorites uh, it's the brilliant purple from Schmincke and it's made with PR 81 2 and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous luminous pink now it's quite similar this is um these this color or one of its um similar sisters <laughs> are always kind of a go-to in my palette and this again is not doesn't have a good light fast rating i think because um it's not light fast as far as i know um, I don't mind that. Um, it's quite similar to the Sennelier Opera Rose, which I also love. I use these, the two of them, and more similar ones all the time. Um, this is, I think, the closest that I could find from the more, um, you know, the regular paints that you can find in almost every brand is the this one is the White Knights Quinacridone Rose. Um, it's made from PR122, and I think every brand has a paint from this pigment. Um, sometimes it's called Quinacridone Magenta. It's kind of a similar um, color, but it doesn't have the brilliance that this one has. Uh, again, I don't know how this will look with time, but I, I admit that I don't care. And from the same pigment, so the Sennelier Opera Rose is also made from PR 81 I, If someone can enlighten me on what the, um, the number after these dots say, I'll be happy to know. I know I could research it. I've just been lazy. Um, so the Windsor & Newton, not the Windsor & Newton, White Knights uh, have a color called Rose. And um, I just applied it really heavily compared to these, but it's quite a similar color. And again, this is... Um, it's a fugitive color but you know these tubes cost um, a few euros and the white knights full pans uh, which are you know this size so you get a lot of paint um, they cost like a year and a half or something like that so it's a good affordable option if you can't uh, if you don't have the budget or you can't get your hands on the other ones so that is this one um another favorite of mine a color that i really love is the sennelier cobalt violet light hue it's number 911 called 911 and um, it looks like this and it's a mixture of three pigments including white and um, again with this one I'm willing to pay the price of an opaque color um, because it's just so gorgeous and from my stash the similar ones that I could find oh I forgot to show you the um, the Schmincke brilliant purple compared to my favorite uh, Holbein bright rose and this one is a, a little bit more fluorescent um, than the Schmincke one and sometimes I like it but sometimes I just I just love this color what can I say the Schmincke paints are fantastic so I don't have a lot this is kind of a color that I just adore and I don't have a lot of similar ones in my stash 
somewhat similar and super affordable is the Winsor & Newton Cotman Mauve color that is, you know, they're really, really affordable. Um, but it's just not the same. I think this one is gorgeous. And actually the Sennelier tubes, the little ones, the 10 milliliters, they're not that expensive. And I just wanted to show you, Sennelier has also the Cobalt Violet Deep Hue. And it's the same uh, two pigments, PV16 and PR122, without the white. And this one is semi-opaque. Um, but I still like it less. I just, I just love this color. And again, when I mix it with the, the creamy um, Naples yellow, it just makes such beautiful colors. I just, I love this one. So I'm, I know it's not transparent, but I pay the price. And the last one that I got a refresher of is the Schminke Helio Turquoise. And I just love this color. So it is just a more a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, turquoise. Um, it's made from PB16, so single pigment. It's transparent. And the triangles, what do they say? I can't remember. I think, it's, I think it says it's staining, if I'm not mistaken. And I just love this turquoise. I want to show you compared to Thalo Turquoise by Daniel Smith, which is a very popular color. Um, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but the uh, Daniel Smith one is more green than the Schminke one. And I don't know, I just love it. It just reminds me of the sea. And um, hopefully I will be on the beach in Israel in the summer. And I kind of want a palette that also will work with that. Now, I really don't recommend that you trust the image in the camera uh, because it just it looks kind of blue on camera and it's it's a beautiful beautiful turquoise so if you can get your hands on their dot cards Schminke now has have dot cards and I've heard a lot of people say that they wrote Schminke asking to try out their uh, paints and even if they didn't have a YouTube channel uh, Schminke were kind enough to send the dot cards but you can also buy the dot cards you know just buy it try all the colors before you commit to a whole tube that costs um, you know, quite a lot for a tube, of, a tube of paint. They're amazing, but it's still expensive. So this is Daniel Smith, and kind of a similar one is the Mission Gold Peacock Blue, which is a combination of Thalo Green and Thalo Blue. Um, but I really love the Schminke one, and um, at least with the pans, I don't have enough experience with the tubes, but from what, what I understand, the formulation is the same. Um, the pans rewet beautifully, just beautiful. Um, really, probably one of my favorites, just the way the color behaves and how easy it is to uh, rewet it and uh, how vibrant they always are. I really don't have any colors from Schminke that um, you know I have to work at to rewet, and I love that. So these were all. Um, repurchases and this one is a new one I'm still on the hunt for my perfect uh, cobalt uh, violet and I decided to try the Windsor and Newton one and I'll show you the swatch so this is the swatch now I have to say that um, you know the Daniel Smith cobalt violet I'm guessing that straight from the tube um, it's a lot nicer but in a dry pan, which is how I prefer to use my paints. I don't, uh, I don't use them straight from the tube. It is really, really, really weak, and yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. So I decided to try the Winsor Newton one, but again, this is directly from the pan, and it's it's quite vibrant. I don't know how it will behave uh, once it's dry. My other uh, versions that are quite similar, like the. Uh, Dollar Rowney one that is made from the same pigment. Um, I have to quite I have to work at them to uh, get them going, and that's one of the reasons that I know it's not exactly the same color, but this the Sennelier one kind of fills that spot for me in the palette, even though they are different, um, because it's just so beautiful and easy to rewet. You know the Sennelier paints have honey in them. And they stay really juicy and um, yeah so 
So I don't know, this is a bit a tricky uh, pigment, I think, uh, to formulate, I guess. Um, so this is the Dallar Rowney uh, version, it's called Cobalt Magenta, and you can see it really granulates. It's actually beautiful when you mix it with other colors, um, but it you really have to work at it and kind of add water and gently let it um, activate, and I don't always have the patience. I'll show you a few similar version like paints um, in my stash, the Sennelier Red Violet one, P made from PV16, is kind of similar. Not really, um, but yeah. And this one, actually, I love this color. Um, it's also made from PV16, but it's more on the purple side than this one. And it's called uh, Manganese Violet by Schminke. It's a gorgeous color. Uh, also has this beautiful granulation. You can see the granulation of these. So I can't tell you, this is just used fresh. I don't know how it will reactivate. I will have to, you know, squeeze some in my uh, palette and see how that works. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.